we are discussing relating integrals so from the name only we can say that here relating integral means what there are two integration will be there we want to find out the relation between two integration okay for example we have one integration is what i1 and other integration what i2 so we are finding relation between i1 and i2 okay or we can do what some problems will be there there we will use what relation between some integration to some other integration okay for example in indefinite integration we have discussed one integration tan x power n dx this integration we have discussed in indefinite integration okay you can see that lecture there we have done 10x power n dx integration okay so how to do this integration so this integration we are assuming i n so here we are finding relation between i n and i n minus 2 so if you use here by part then one relation we will get that is what i n equal to 10x power n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 minus of i of n minus 2 this will get what is i n minus 2 i of n minus 2 is what integration of 10x power n minus 2 dx so we'll get this relation so by using this relation we have done integration of i n okay what you will do i n we got this one then we want i n minus 2 so i n minus 2 so what will come i n minus 2 instead of n put n minus 2 so what will come here 10x power what will come n minus 3 divided by n minus 3 minus i of n minus 4 then we need i of n minus 4 then instead of n we will put n minus 4 so we'll get the relation between i n and i n minus 2 so by using this relation we can find out i n till this till this it will continue till what either we'll get what last i1 or i0 okay and i1 and i0 integration we know i1 is what i n i1 equal to what integration of 10x dx so that integration we know and if it is i0 if it, if it is i0 is coming then what will come i0 equal to what 10x power 0 dx that means integration of dx will come so that integration we also know so this integration we have discussed in indefinite integration so like that also we can use okay we are finding relation between i n and i n minus 2 in wallis formula also we have discussed integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power n dx so this one we are assuming i n so here also we are finding relation and by using that relation we are integrating i n okay so so many integration we can use by using relating integrals some more problems we will discuss here okay next we are discussing first problem i n equal to integration 0 to 1 x power n into tan inverse x dx then prove that n plus 1 i n plus n minus 1 i n minus 2 equal to pi by 2 minus 1 by n so here we can see relation between i n and i n minus 2 we have to find out okay then how to find out so here this problem is given okay so from the problem also we can say that we have to use here by part because there are two function is given x power n and tan inverse x okay so direct integration we can't do so what you will use it by part so if you want to use by part we know that integration of x power n is what very easy but integration of tan inverse x is what not possible so we can say that this is integrating function this is differentiating function so how to use i n equal to okay this is differentiating function tan inverse x is outside x power n integration what about x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 minus integration 0 to 1 x power n this one integration what about x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and tan inverse x differentiation what about 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx this will come okay so what is i n okay here limit will come 0 to 1 sorry okay here limit will come 0 to 1 so if you go to 1 here so tan inverse 1 is what pi by 4 so pi by 4 and this is what 1 power n plus 1 is what 1 only divided by n plus 1 minus if you put here 0 so everything will be 0 minus 0 to 1 x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 into 1 plus x square dx this will come okay now here you see here what we have n plus 1 i n okay so we will take what n plus 1 cross multiply so what are going to be n plus 1 i n equal to 
पाई बाई फोर माइनस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ जीरो टू वन एक्स पावर एन प्लस वन डिवाइड बाई वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स दिस विल कम ओके सो वी गोट एन प्लस वन आई एन इक्वल टू दिस वन वी वॉन्ट एन माइनस वन आई एन माइनस टू सो सिंपल इज देयर हेयर इंस्टेड ऑफ एन पुट एन माइनस टू सो हेयर पुट एन इक्वल टू एन माइनस टू सो वॉट कम हेयर इफ आई पुट हेयर एन माइनस टू वॉट कम एन माइनस टू प्लस वन आई ऑफ एन माइनस टू पाई बाई फोर एज इट इज माइनस इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू वन एक्स पावर वॉट कम एन माइनस टू प्लस वन डिवाइड बाई वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स दिस वन वी आर टेकिंग इक्वेशन वन दिस वन वी आर टेकिंग इक्वेशन टू वी वॉन्ट वॉट एन प्लस वन आई एन प्लस एन माइनस वन आई एन माइनस टू करें ना सो हेयर वी गुड यू कैन सी लेफ्ट एंड साइड एन प्लस वन आई एन एन माइनस टू प्लस वन इज वॉट एन माइनस वन आई एन माइनस टू सो एडिंग दीज टू वॉट कम हेयर एन प्लस वन आई एन प्लस एन माइनस टू प्लस वन इज वॉट एन माइनस वन आई एन माइनस टू प्लस एन माइनस वन आई ऑफ एन माइनस टू इक्वल टू ओके सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग हेयर एडिशन ओके सो वॉट कम हेयर पाई बाई फोर प्लस पाई बाई फोर इज वॉट पाई बाई टू पाई बाई टू ओके माइनस माइनस ओके सो लिमिट इज वॉट सेम ओनली जीरो टू वन जीरो टू वन सो माइनस वी कैन टेक कॉमन इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू वन इज ऑल्सो कॉमन हेयर वॉट कम एल सी एम जॉट वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर सो एल सी एम ऑल्सो सेम ओनली वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर न्यूमरेटर वॉट विल कम एक्स पावर एन प्लस टू प्लस एक्स पावर एन माइनस टू प्लस वन सो एक्स पावर एन माइनस वन विल कम सो वॉट कम हेयर एक्स पावर एन प्लस वन प्लस एक्स पावर एन माइनस वन टी एक्स this will come okay very simple is is that we are put adding these two okay so lcm is same so numerator we have to add x power n plus 1 plus x power n minus 2 plus 1 is what n minus 1 so this will come so what will come here n plus 1 i n plus n minus 1 i of n minus 2 pi by 2 minus integration 0 to 1 here x power n minus 1 we are taking common So x power n minus one is common. What will come here? X power two plus one divided by one plus x square dx. So this is getting cancelled. So what will come here? N minus one i n minus plus n minus one. Sorry, this is n plus one. This is also n plus one. I n minus two pi by two minus integration zero to one x power n minus one dx. So this will come what? X power n divided by n. Limit is what? Zero to one. So what will come here? N plus one i n plus n minus one i of n minus two pi by two minus. If you put upper value, upper value is what one. So one power n is what one only. One by n will come. Okay. Minus if you put zero, so zero only will come. So this is your answer. One by n. Okay. So you can see this one and this one both are same. That is proof.